hate doing intros so much, but let's just get started. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela. If you are new here, I make beauty and lifestyle videos every single week. So if you like that kind of stuff, then please be sure to subscribe. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope your December is off to a great start. For today, I wanted to just like sit down and talk about some of my November favorites. November was a good month. It just flew on by so quick and it's now the holiday season and I'm feeling a little festive. I have my little tree over here. We're off to a good start. For today, we're just going to be like chatting about some of the products that i really just enjoyed using in november for november i had two trips i had a business convention the first weekend of november to alabama and then about halfway through the month uh i went with my family to dallas for amway achievers so my skin this month has not been the best every time I travel, go anywhere new. My skin has just not been having it this month. That first weekend, once I got back home, my skin just felt super, like it was just very oily that whole weekend. Like I remember having to like be touching up and stuff. Every time I'm on an airplane, like I always get like little breakouts right here underneath my, like well right here, kind of like on my jaw, like non-existent jawline because I'm so fat. I have just been breaking out so much. Right now my skin is like starting to clear up, but it's just been super dry. Other days it's super oily. So these two dudes have been my best friends. Um, I have here, this is from Artistry. These are the Signature Select, the purifying mask as well as the hydrating mask. This hydrating mask, it has green tea and it smells it's i got some right here on my lip but it smells amazing this feels super hydrating on your skin <sighs> and it just leaves it feeling super soft and moisturized and then the purifying mask this one does such a good job at just reducing the shine on my face controlling that oiliness as well as helping me to like clean like clean out any like breakouts that i have on my skin and this one smells just super fresh as well just I love them they're just so good it's just really helped my skin bounce back from those two trips they're the only ones that i trust to put on my face i have a lot of like like face products for this month but it was because my skin just looked horrible i had more redness than usual more breakouts so i was just trying to figure out ways to cover that up because i was not going to be walking around with all those breakouts on my skin so this combination has been my absolute favorite this is the artistry youth extend foundation and i've been loving to use it with the elf poreless putty primer it does such a super good job at just like blurring out all of my like imperfections pores and then with the lifting smoothing foundation from artistry then it like my skin just looks almost too good to be true it's a super super full coverage foundation but it does not feel heavy whatsoever on the skin this foundation literally covers up everything and you know this is just also really good if you have like any like expression lines like any of those little lines that start to come out as you're aging then it does also do a really good job at just like blurring all of that out as well so it is a very pricey foundation but a little bit of this goes a very long way i usually only need about half a pump of this but since my skin has been acting up this month i do go for a full pump but I do like that it comes with the pump and it is a lot of products I've also been liking another foundation for this month this is the believe beauty skin finish foundation this retails for <laughs> it's crazy because i like there's no in between for me like i love high-end makeup but i also love really affordable makeup because this one i <laughs> i don't even want to say how much it retails for but this little dude right here is five dollars and this can be found at dollar general believe beauty is a brand that is exclusive to dollar general so if you're ever in there and you want to test out some new makeup then this brand has some really good stuff i highly recommend either picking up their makeup wipes the foundation as well as their liquid lipsticks their liquid lipsticks like the formula is super long wearing and comfortable and they have like such a nice wide range of colors to pick from now for their foundations concealers the shade range is very small 
the thing that I do not recommend whatsoever is their primers or their concealers because their concealers they do oxidize and the primers are just horrible like I tried using their primers under this foundation and it kind of just like a balled up on me and it just looked absolutely disgusting I look like a grease ball and then I tried to use that same primer with like my other foundations that I have but it was the same thing it was just really bad this claims to be a medium to full coverage but I think it's more of like a medium coverage and the only thing about this is that I mean it does come with the pump it does have very like nice pretty packaging but the only like bad thing about this foundation that I've noticed is that um, the formula can be the formula changes depending on what primer you're using underneath because out of all the primers that I have the only one that I could use it with is the artistry exact fit perfecting primer those two work amazing together and as well as the smash the smash the smashbox photo finish shine and oil control primer now that is a 39 dollars primer that i'm using to prime this five dollar foundation that when i use it with the artistry exact fit primer since that one does a super good job at reducing the redness on my skin once i go in with this like there really is no redness peeking through which i really like so if you're ever in dollar general pick up the foundation powder that i've really been liking well it's actually two that i've been like going back and forth um but the first one this is the jeffree star cosmetics translucent setting powder i bought this when it first launched and looking at it now i do still have a ton of product in there i think i'm like halfway through this product but this is a really good setting powder it's also super good to bake with it really does such a good job at like brightening up underneath your eyes and i haven't noticed if it like moves my foundation or anything it just does a really good job at like setting my makeup and it's like really good packaging is super cute as always i think it retails for like 20 something dollars which is not bad at all um the only thing that i don't like about this powder is the smell it has like a cotton candy smell that just lingers um if i do bake like around here then i am smelling that all day but um i mean jeffrey claims that it's like a very like faint mild scent but for me personally it just smells too strong when i open this i try to not breathe it in because it does feel like a little i don't know it just it's just a very sweet cotton candy scent that i just i don't like it's still a really good powder so just keep that in mind if you are very sensitive to smells keep that in mind it does smell a lot like cotton candy another powder that i've really been liking well in general i've really just been reaching for this palette a lot this is the artistry studio nyc edition on the go palette i have all of their on the go palettes but the one that i've really been reaching for this month is the liberty light palette and what i really like about these palettes is that they come with three eyeshadows a powder a blush and a highlighter so i pretty much use everything um but what i've really been reaching for more this month in this palette it's been the powder this powder does such a super good job at just kind of like setting your makeup well i have combination skin so i've noticed that it does a really good job at just controlling the oiliness that i get on my face throughout the day and i just really like setting my whole face with this it'd be really cool if they could like sell this individually and it also does a really good job at kind of like covering up my like little blackheads whiteheads that i have on my nose because sometimes those they still peek through um you know even if i use like a full coverage foundation it does still peek through so this powder just does a super good job at like covering them up and i really like that so sometimes my nose looks Perfect. I have also really been liking to go in with this blush. This is the one that I'm wearing today. It just gives you like a nice pretty pop of pink, like some flush, like like a nice a pretty like I don't know. It's it's a really good blush. Shades are very buildable. Also really been enjoying to go in with this shade in my crease and then just popping this shade all over it. Um this is the Artistry Shimmering Cream Eyeshadow in Smoky Nights. And this is just like a bronzy coppery cream eyeshadow this has also been just very good when i don't really want to spend a lot of time on my eyeshadow so i'll usually like pop this shade all in my crease and then i'll pop this all over my lid 
put on some mascara you're good to go so these i believe are primer infused so they are very long wearing they don't crease they don't budge they're really good and i think that they only came out in three shades with these but i only have one i've been meaning to order the other two because they're just they're really good and i usually don't like keeping individual eyeshadows like this i always prefer to have a palette because i feel like i'd rather spend the money on a palette instead of just one eyeshadow but this is really good especially if you do travel or if you just don't have the time to get ready it's always good to just pop on a shade in the crease and then this makes it look like you spent a lot of time on your eyes when in reality you just went in with two shades i pretty much wore this the whole weekend that i was in alabama and throughout the month like if i was if i just didn't want to spend a lot of time like i said then i would just go in with this one but this palette is also super super good i just i love these on the go palettes i have just like four things left but. um this highlighter i've also really been enjoying for this month this is the fenty beauty kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo i have it in lightning dust as well as fire crystal i got this when they first launched <laughs> and i only got one because these are these are pricey Sankaros. really like this highlighter i think it gives you such a nice pretty blinding but still subtle at the same time highlighter i think it's just so pretty i wore this today pretty, pretty highlighters and they're very easy to blend out I usually like to just go in highlight all over my face highlight underneath my brow bone and they're just really pretty and you know sometimes if you are in a rush then they can also be used as eyeshadows um, another product that i've really <laughs> that i really need to stop using so much and get more use out of my other palettes but um i did pick up the huda beauty light nude eyeshadow palette last month and i did a review on it i did another tutorial on it so it's such a beautiful eyeshadow palette i took it with me to dallas and it was pretty much the only palette that i used i only took this one as well as my anastasia soft glam eyeshadow palette um i only took those two and if i wanted to like deepen it up or something then i would go into my soft glam palette but i really only use this palette i just i love it i think it's like the perfect neutral the perfect pinky neutral palette for me personally i have really just i'm still going hard with pink eyeshadow i love it it's very easy to blend out and if you haven't seen the review i did on it as well as the second tutorial that i did on it then it should pop up somewhere on the screen those links should be down below in the description box as well so if you want to check those out it's a really nice palette and it's just super cute it does retail for 29 dollars at sephora they did also launch two other palettes along with this and then the last two products that we're going to talk about out. um these are the vaseline lip therapies these are really the only lip balms that i use i pretty much stopped using the eos lip balms because i noticed no i don't know like i felt like my lips were just not getting the moisture that they needed are just super good at just bringing your just bringing that moisture back to your lips as well as just repairing them because my lips they do tend to crack a lot and so these just do a really good job at repairing them i think i'm pretty much halfway through the rosy lips and this one kind of does give you like a nice little pretty pinky tint and then the cocoa butter this one just smells amazing and i just love it just i don't know i just really love how my lips feel once i have these on i'm gonna like look around my room and see like if there's anything that i kind of forgot to talk about but I guess that's pretty much it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed let me know what products you guys really enjoyed for this month i always love to discover some new products so just leave them down below in the comments let's chat as usual thank you guys so much for watching it means so much to me and i will see you guys in my next video bye